Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jennifer Ludington. I like to be known as Jen the Generator, and I am a high performance mindset and health coach. And I love helping people generate the power to free themselves from the imprisonment of their lies. What? Crazy, right? Um, I love to help people blow up those beliefs so they can then stop blowing up their life, right? And I love working with high-performing, driven, A-type women who are really getting after it in life, but may have, may have forgotten how to soften into their feminine essence. They may have forgotten how to connect. They may have gotten so tied up in those external motivating forces that are driving them that they forgot to chill the hell out, right? And just relax. And, and they forgot who they were, right? Who they are. And then also I love working with that woman that's still getting after it, but maybe she's behind the scenes. Maybe she has forgotten how to use her voice. Maybe she has forgotten how to be confident in the world and lost her power, right? Right? Okay. So, so this is what we're talking about today. I posted on Facebook and Instagram today, and we're going to talk about resilience. Look, today's 9-11. Today is 9-11. Today is 9-11. Remember, remember that? Or did we freaking forget? Did we forget not only about 9-11, but how resilient we are? Well, I, I might have forgotten a little bit. Let me tell you this. I know that resilience is when there is nothing left to do but to get up and fight. When there is nothing left to do but get up and fight. And that is exactly what happened when I was standing in the middle of Manhattan on 9-11 19 years ago. That's exactly what happened. I had to get up and fight covered in ash, running across the Brooklyn Bridge, terrorized, fearful, scared shitless, to be honest. And that day will be seared in my memory from how we had to learn as a country to be resilient. But we freaking forget. We forget because we get comfortable. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot how to actually be resilient sometimes when I get in my comfort. So this month I decided to get into discomfort and step into that so I can relearn my own resilience, remember my own resilience, remember that adversity is the greatest teacher. And the easiest way for me, the, the most common way for a lot of people to do and to learn resilience is through fitness, right? So I, I committed to myself to do hard things this month, to be, to, to go into the fitness, you know, world this, this month and just freaking go crazy and do hard things. I remind myself that I can. Because I think what has happened, and I think we have forgotten, we have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten how to trust ourselves. We have forgotten that we have to go through the pain to get into the power of who we are. We have to go through the pain to actually create the life that we want. It doesn't just happen, and that's resilience. And you know, I have to tell you, I've learned a lot of resilience in my life, but I still have to remind myself. I still get to do the hard things. I still get to push myself. I still get to go for it because I get to keep reminding myself so I don't forget that I am resilient and that I can trust myself. And what happens is we get comfortable. And what happens is we stay in this comfort zone and we stop realizing how resilient we are. And we stop succeeding because we get comfortable. We stop pushing ourselves because we get comfortable. So what I'm asking you today is, listen, you guys, if you want to learn and remember who you are, who you really are, and who we are as a country, we have to stop being comfortable. We have to get uncomfortable to learn that resilience. And I, you know, I think what's happened is, you know, we're all caught, or I feel like we're caught right now in this transition, right? We're like asking our government to come in and save us from this pandemic. Save our economy. It's like we're, we're blaming and asking for someone to come in and be our knight in shining armor. 
We're just waiting for someone to solve all these problems for us, but we forget that it starts with us. We forget that our country, the United States, was founded on resilience and hard work and pain to get to where we are now. It's a perfect metaphor. And now we're just sitting back, or I find myself too, just sitting back waiting at times for someone to come in and just save us. Solve our problems for us, because we've gotten comfortable. The government's not going to save us. You get to save yourself. I get to save myself. When I went through 9-11 in the middle of Manhattan on that day 19 years ago, when I saw the most horrific things I've ever seen in my life, I got to be resilient. When I went through losing my baby, I went through losing an unborn child, I got to be resilient. When I went through bankruptcy and an abusive relationship and husband, when I went through addiction, when I went through eating disorders, when I went through living through absolutely being broke and digging change off the bottom of my Dodge so that I could feed my daughter, I had to learn resilience. That pain propels you. If you're unwilling and you're unwilling to endure things to propel you, you've forgotten who you are. So this is what I think is happening. We need to reestablish our foundation of who we are. Reestablish our foundation of who you are. And how do we even know what we are if we're being told from all these external sources all the freaking time what we're supposed to be, what our life's supposed to look like? We're supposed to be okay with everything. No, we're not. We've got to remember who we are so we can remember how to trust ourselves. You guys feel that? But most of us have forgotten who the hell we really are. We've forgotten who the hell we really are. And we just need to remember. It's not lost. We just need to remember. Just like we need to remember today, 19 years ago, what we lost. How we got it back. How resilient we were. How we combined and unified as a country. We didn't look for anyone to save us. You should have seen it down there on 9-11. You should have seen everyone that came rushing, rushing to help. Because resilience is what happens when there is nothing left but to fight. We forgot how to fight. Because we forgot who we are. You should have seen it down there. Every person was helping and unified and connected and powerfully lifting each other up. That's resilience. We keep forgetting. We keep forgetting that because we get stuck in our comfort, blaming and asking for solutions from other people. No. We get to fight for who we are and what we want and what we want to create. But we just need to remember. And how do you remember? How do you remember in a culture where we're told what to do? We're led like sheep. How do you remember that you're a lion? You are a lion. You're not a sheep. I'm a lion. I'm a goddamn lion. And so are you. We just have to remember. Everything is here inside of us. I had to remember today. I reminded myself that I can do hard things. And the way that I reminded myself today was I had to push myself into a physical area that was hard. That there was nothing left for me to do but to push through. And that was a decision that I got to make. Reminding myself that I can do hard things. Pushing myself out of comfort. Getting uncomfortable so that I can remember that I can trust myself to finish what I start. And if you're not Finishing what you start right now, if you're in this cycle of wanting something and then letting it fall apart and then wanting something and letting it fall apart, it's because you haven't remembered who you are. And you just get to remember. That's what I had to do. That's what I had to do in my life. I had to remember who the hell I am. Not externally, intrinsically, who I be, how powerful I am. And I know how powerful you are. I know how powerful you are. You just have to remember. But you can fucking do this. You can do this. Our country can do this. We can do this. This cannot take you down. You have the power within you. You just have to remember how to find it.
All right, today gets me going. That's how easily we forget. How easily for we forget how powerful we are unified as this country. How powerful we are when we come together and we realize that we either have to get up or we have to let it all fall apart. And I'm not willing to let it all fall apart. I'm not willing to let it all fall apart. This uncertainty, this pandemic, this civil unrest, this inequality, everything that's going on in our country right now is not for someone else to solve. It is not for us to point fingers at. It is not for us to, to ask our government to come in and save us. It is for us. We get to, and it starts with you, me, powering up, becoming gritty, finding our resilience again. That's what this message is about today. And this is how you do it. You do hard things. You get uncomfortable and you learn to finish it. You learn to trust yourself. You build confidence on the evidence that you can. Adversity is your greatest teacher. Get uncomfortable. Learn. Grow. Let's stand up. If I can do it, I've done it. I'm going to keep doing it. I promise myself I am. So can you. I believe in us. I believe in you. I believe in me. So what are you going to do today? What are you going to do today to find your resilience? To find your grit? To find your power? To solve whatever is in front of you? It starts with you getting uncomfortable, pushing yourself. and then trusting yourself to finish it. All right, you guys. Um, so what I wanted to share with you today. As you can see, I'm powerfully connected to this. So listen, um, my name's Jen, Jen the Generator, Jennifer Luddington, and you can find me on social media, right, all over on jenniferluddington.com if you want to know more about my courses, if you want to know about what I do, if you want to know more about who I am and who I be, can find me there and listen if you want to share this video awesome you know um, I'm also going to tell you this I've got something rad happening I'm teaching people in my next 21 day challenge that starts on the 21st how to find your resilience how to find yourself how to find your values and learn to trust yourself again I've got a waiting list going right now I will pop it in the link here if you guys want to check it out um, Starts on the 21st, you can get on the waiting list, and then you'll be guaranteed a spot. All right, you guys, think about this today. Remember, remember who we are, remember who you are. You've got this. Bye.